At five, a Lakewood neighborhood shaken up after the sound of rapid gunfire rang out early this morning. And when it was over, Thornton police had killed two people. Fox 31's Vicente Arenas joining us live from Thornton PD with what he's been learning about what happened there. Vicente. Jeremy, Thornton police are telling us they started chasing this car because it was suspicious. I should say they started following this car because it was suspicious. Then they followed it all the way to Lakewood where there was that deadly confrontation. Chaos at this corner in Lakewood in the middle of the night where two people were shot and killed by police. We heard um, like sirens and then um, we heard a, a crunch crash and then um, five shots like really fast. Boop, 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 boop. Those gunshots neighbors say rang out between three and four in the morning at the corner of 2nd Avenue and Garrison Street. That's where a police pursuit ended. The details of the involvement of the cars you see here is not clear. I heard tires screeching and then just a bunch of pops like pop, 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 pop. And I was like, oh, that's kind of sounds like gunshots. A police spokesperson said at 237 in the morning, they'd started following a suspicious car with no license plate in Thornton. Officers there continued following that car into Lakewood. When the vehicle stopped at Alameda and Sheridan, one of the suspects exited the car and fired at officers and took off. The pursuit ended at 2nd Avenue in Garrison, where police say at least one person was armed with the handgun. As soon as I looked outside, I saw what I would imagine to be about 15 police cars. Two people were shot and killed by Thornton police officers. You always hear about police chases and and stuff like that. You don't expect it to happen right in front of you. A church at the corner was not damaged by the crash. A person who lives nearby says he heard more than a dozen shots. The whole incident captured on surveillance cameras. He's turned over to police. The officers involved in this incident are off the streets for now. That's protocol. Also part of protocol is that an outside agency investigates that shooting. In this particular case, it is the Jefferson County Critical Incident Response Team. The name of the two people who were killed, the names have not been released. Live at the Thornton Police Department, Vicente Arenas, Fox 31. All right, Vicente.